Thanks, Kimberly. And we're here in the Horizon World Lounge area where we have a couple of portals in the back where you can see worlds, there's avatars, you can wave to them, a pretty cool area. But I have a really incredible guest, my friend Deepak, who is a developer advocate here at Meta. He has a lot of experience also with UGC and also worlds. Deepak, what feature are you the most interested about of what we just announced? Oh my God, the custom shaders, like in that new editor, that's chef's kiss. But like, that's what I'm really excited about. But like. I just love, like, we just released the embodied NPCs, and, like, what people don't realize, it's basically you can drop in NPCs, and, like, it's con connected to, like, an internal LLM. So, like, basically you can have, like, real-life conversations happening in worlds without having to write, like, million lines of, like, dialogue. So, like, I think people are going to, like, be experimenting in such creative ways and having, like, funny conversations that sort of make that, like, world amazing. And, like... That's what people want, right? When they come into it, not that it feels like a dead world, but like it's alive. That's what I really love about those NPCs. And it creates that sort of social atmosphere that I think people have been craving in these types of experiences. Oh yeah, I'm sure creators will love that. I really like that feature as well. To level things up, we know that avatars customization is a big part of worlds. How is it going to be changing the way that people connect within worlds? Again, great question. <laughs> um, I think most people don't realize that like UGC platforms, they're really like social matrixes. So like people are wanting to be themselves in these worlds or like experiment with their identity, right? Because they're not trying to just play a game, right? They're trying to be in these spaces. And so that's what I love about the customization, right? It allows them like different body types, costumes, like different styles, and then they get to experiment of what they want to be, who they want to be, yeah. whether for today or tomorrow, like whole time. And that's what I think, why I love that we double down on those types of features. It really lets them express themselves. So that's what I love about it. Yeah, no, I love that. I mean, I know people who have been asking for this feature for quite a while, so I can see that. So just as a developer, we always look for fast iteration tools because we want to optimize our time, right? We don't want to spend too much time debugging. So what is your take on those tools and how does that relate to desktop editor? What features you can find in that tool? Yeah, I think there's a trend going on in AAA and in game development itself in that like we need to find ways to create games faster and cheaper right and that and i think the Gen AI tools really help like sort of like allow developers to like prototype and really grace like gray box their sort of levels and i think that's what's exciting to me because not only like can you get like test out your gameplay really fast, right? You can also like learn from it, right? Because I'm not a strong scripter, right? But with this way I can generate scripts. I'm not a strong art, I'm not strong at anything. Like not a strong artist, but that's what I love, right? I can like sort of like piece together things and then work with other people to like, see this is what I'm sort of seeing, let's experiment with it. And that's, I'm a big fan that like Gen AI tools are not meant to replace creators, but like they're used for like education. So that's what I use it for, right? Because then I can start learning in a way that works for me. So that's why I love it. No, I love it. I think I see it as an extension of me. Yes. And Deepak and myself went to a conference not too long ago. We had to do a workshop. Those were the features that we used, and we got Kickstarter pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. With, at Gamescom, man. Yeah. yeah. That's a fun time. So I think the next part that I want to talk about is basically communication within worlds like community. Tell me a little bit about that. What has inspired you? Who taught you within worlds that you say, okay, I like this community? Oh, I mean two good questions right like person I love is like Jay Dunn he's like over here somewhere right but like he welcomed me in the community and that's the thing that shouldn't surprise me but often surprises me is like how much people are willing to like welcome you share code with you help you if you're stuck on your level right but at the same time they're also competing with you right so like it's this friendly like competition but that's what I love versus like solo development right is like you're actually building like with a community and that's what I that's what the thing that always surprises me is like you're not alone yeah. and there's always someone to help out i agree with that i mean i'm a vr developer when i saw the community within worlds yeah. i started using worlds yeah. because there's such a strong connection yeah. in there they're all, yeah they're all with each other high fiving each other and then secretly like how do i get a better game out there than them okay <laughs> lastly i want to ask you if you had a magic wand and you could wish for a really cool feature what would that be i'm going to cheat i'm going <laughs> to say multiple features right one i know is coming which is multiple scripts on an object so that's going to create more interactions Right, but the, the dream the dream features, right, is like I want like video for all creators because then they can create awesome concert, right? Um, custom shaders, but I know that's coming with the new things. 
Um, and then also like rev share, right? The ability to sort of like share your income with multiple creators that are helping you on the maps. I think these types of things will help production, but really help grow teams at a larger scale. No, I love it. Hey, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much, Deepak, for joining us today. We can't wait to see what worlds you create, but back to you, Kimberly.